What's up guys, welcome back to the channel for another Steam Deck video this time and I was actually getting ready to call it an early night when I ran into a post from Tom Warren over on X which led me to a Verge article Valve confirming it will support the ROG Ally with its Steam Deck operating system and I wanted to jump on and go over this article and talk about it a little bit. I was actually just talking to a buddy the other night about Steam OS and coming to other uh, handhelds because that's something that we've known has been the idea since the very beginning really of Steam OS and when we started to hear about it and it being available for other devices. Now that we have a lot of other fairly popular or mainstream Windows handhelds out there, I think it might be about time for that project to hopefully come to fruition. So let's check out this Verge article and see what's being said about Valve and its support for bringing Steam OS to these other handhelds. Now, like I said, I first ran into this over on X from Tom Warren. It says Valve confirms it will support the ROG Ally with its Steam Deck operating system. As Microsoft looks, looks to try to improve the Windows experience on handhelds, Valve is getting ready to support SteamOS on more devices. And then, of course, we have the Verge article uh, over here. Valve confirms it will support the ROG Ally with its Steam Deck operating system. SteamOS will support rival handhelds once Valve is happy with it and that SteamOS version is ready to go. All right, so let's take a look at this. Valve once imagined that every PC maker could have their own Steam machine, a PC game console running the company's Linux-based SteamOS. It took a decade for that dream to evolve into the company's own internally developed Steam Deck gaming handheld, but the original dream isn't dead. The company's long said it plans to let other companies use SteamOS too, and that means explicitly supporting the rival ASUS ROG Ally gaming handheld, Valve designer Lawrence Yang now confirms to The Verge. A few days ago, some spotted an intriguing line in Valve's latest SteamOS release notes, quote, added support for extra ROG Ally keys. Maybe Valve was just supporting those keys in the Steam desktop client on a Windows uh, where it offers a Steam Deck like big picture mode interface for any PC and the line mistakenly made it into these patch notes uh, as I asked to be safe. But no, this is indeed about Valve eventually supporting the ROG Ally and other rival handhelds. Quote, the note about ROG Ally keys is related to third-party device support for SteamOS. The team is continuing, continuing to work on adding support for additional handhelds on SteamOS, uh, Yang tells me. That doesn't mean ASUS will officially bless Valve's installer or sell the Ally with SteamOS, of course. ASUS has told me uh, there are many reasons why it ships with Windows. A big one is that Microsoft has dedicated validation teams that ensure its operating system works across many many different hardware configurations and chips. And it's not like Valve is suggesting it'll offer SteamOS on rival handhelds anytime soon either. Valve is making steady progress, Yang tells me, but it isn't ready to run out of the box yet. We already knew Valve planned a general release of SteamOS 3 that you can theoretically install on non-handheld PCs as well. Yang says it's similarly making progress there, but it's not ready yet, which we're more focused on the handheld side of things here. So that's the update on turning Windows handhelds into Steam machines. What about Valve's promise to let you turn Steam decks into dual booting Windows machines too, letting you, sh uh, letting you swap between the two OS at will? Here's what Yang had to say on that. And this one definitely had me interested as well, because this is another big feature that I've been waiting for since they announced it. As for Windows, we're preparing to make the remaining Windows uh, drivers for Steam Deck OLED available. You might have seen that we are preparing firmware for the Bluetooth driver. There's no update on the timing for dual boot support. It's still a priority, but we haven't been able to get it uh, get to it just yet. Valve isn't the only one adapting its compelling combination of Linux and controller-friendly Steam UI to Windows handhelds. Universal Blue touted that its Bayesite Operating system had already achieved support for the ASUS ROG Ally X, and we've seen a lot of videos out of using that to turn your Windows handheld into um, a Steam operating system type uh, OS with that. So they definitely made a lot of good progress there. I've seen a lot of great stuff with that. I've tried a little bit on the ROG uh, original Ally, the OG Ally. So we'll get into that more in the future, but I've really been interested in the actual official release from Valve on this and what's, what's gonna come as far as their OS installer and how's this gonna work with installing this on the Windows devices. This is something they've been talking about for quite a long time, wanting to offer this. I think 
it would be super cool if in the future when we're ordering these handhelds, we might have a bit more option. Like when we're ordering a desktop PC or even a laptop and we're able to make choices like our storage for our SSD size, how much RAM do we want? That's going to affect our price, but everybody might have a little bit different need there, like 16, 24, 32. And then of course, things like the ability to pick your operating system, choosing that it comes with Windows or with SteamOS would actually be pretty cool. I don't know if we'll get to a point like that. It may stay something you got to just do on the side yourself. Um, but I think that would be a pretty neat way to kind of go through and be able to pick and customize your very own handheld all the way down to the OS. So it is nice to hear an update that it is officially still being worked on. It is still coming. I'll definitely be interested in checking out the official Valve release of SteamOS for these other handhelds. As far as the dual boot for Windows, that's something I've really been waiting for here. I've done tons of different dual boot stuff here. I use Windows on deck a good bit still, but I've kind of shied away and been using uh, SteamOS more and more, especially with the OLED and the missing drivers. So it's great to hear that those drivers are actually coming for Bluetooth and I'm assuming the other audio and stuff we need uh, for the OLED to work properly. So that would be great as well. But yeah, guys, that's it. Let me know what you think about SteamOS, hopefully finally making its way to other handhelds like the ROG Ally, maybe eventually the Legion Go, the Claw, whatever the case may be, and being available, having the proper drivers and ready to go. Hopefully a nice slick install from Valve to make that work really nice for us on those devices. All right, guys, thanks a lot for coming and check out the video. As always, I really appreciate it, and I'll see you in the next one.